hello everyone welcome to our channel uh, today's video is about um, the apps for uh, the Fitbit Versa um, Fitbit Versa has its own operating system so there it's an open source so there are a lot of apps uh, at this point available in the app market um, so I'll be reviewing certain apps over here um, these are the apps which I am using on my Fitbit Versa and I find them quite functional for my day-to-day -day task <coughs> and the first one is uh, as you can see over here uh, it's the world clock um, if you if you're in the my app section uh, on the fitbit app on your phone um, you can install all this application and view the settings of all this application as well so the first uh, app which i have is the world clock if you go in the setting um, you can actually add different cities and um, i have added a couple of cities so that i can check time on my watch for all the cities um, then the next one is a default app setting uh, another app is a timer it's also uh, uh, preloaded on the watch it's it's by uh, the developer is fitbit itself the, th uh, the another one is the music um, the one after that is the easy picks uh, it's by Daynet. Um, this is a, a really a cool app. Um, it doesn't. It does not require any third-party app. Uh, with this, you can uh, add eight pictures um, on your watch, uh, and it's completely free. And I really like it. Uh, you can switch around uh, the pictures. So as you can see in the snapshot over here, you can add, uh, add eight pictures which are viewable uh, on small thumbnail on the watch and you click on pick one and it'll, it'll enlarge to the full screen and it's, it's pretty quite clear there are options to upload it in high quality low quality as you can see in this setting right here and it'll be something like this it's a very good app and it's free the another one is calculator i like this app for my daily calculation it's 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 neat uh, however um the buttons are quite placed together so it's it's sort of hard but the touch is quite receptive and i didn't personally have any issue using this app the another one is the exercise app which is by default the alarm the weather app where you can add different cities as well which is sort of nice um, the other one is relax which is a very good feature of uh, all the fitbits i really like this feature then there is a third party app calendar which i use it um, however i find a couple of uh, watch face have inbuilt calendar in them which i'll show you in a while uh, deezer i don't use that barcodes uh, this is a nice app where you can add uh, barcodes um, like a gym membership or or uh, a points collection card uh, and you can scan it on your watch at the checkout and it's pretty cool however one issue which i had with this app is you cannot really add a long barcode uh, i have had a couple of uh, point collection cards where the barcode is long and it doesn't really show up on the watch uh, it's about if it's about five or six characters it will show up if it's probably more than that it won't um, if we go down the today's app is through fitbit starva uh, i i don't use it starbucks i use it it's 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 pretty neat um, you can add your starbucks card number to it and then you can use it uh, at the checkout to-do list that's another good app where you can add uh, things um, to the to-do list entry you can uh, add different colors to it it's a pretty neat app uh, flipboard news for you app that's also a good news app maps this is another nice app where you can have a gps on your on your watch however there is no inbuilt gps on the watch it's it's uh it's it's just a map um, you can browse zoom in zoom out to different location it's it's just a google map on your watch um, however, it's, it's, it, it takes time to load depending on the connection to the uh, cell phone you have, So, but it's a neat app. 
stopwatch tips and the last one which i have uh, bitcoin tracker the problem with this app is it's only in uh, usd the base currency is usd i can't really get any other currencies uh, the one i want is canadian it's not there but it, it still helps if you're if you're if you're a person who likes to track the bitcoin now we'll go in all the apps uh, if you scroll down view all the apps there are a lot of apps but as you can see i showed you all the apps which i used and i find them personally helpful and functional when you go in the all app setting uh, or the menu you will see a lot of different apps and um, since it's an open source people are developing different apps and adding it to the library there, there are a lot different type of uh, calculators flashlight I haven't installed one I'm thinking to install one but those are pretty good apps I wish they had more functional apps like find my phone um, a couple of other apps like PDF reader um, like the points collector cards and stuff like that but here are all the apps which if you this is uh, the video is being recorded in August 2018 so this is the list up till now uh, which might change uh, people may add more apps uh, more developers will jump in and add different apps but for now this is a general idea for people who are planning to purchase Fitbit Versa and Ionic because these these are all the apps which you can get on on your watch all the apps which I have installed already will have uh, a tick mark beside it uh, all the ones which I haven't installed would not have a tick mark beside it quite obvious and that's pretty much it that's the end of all the apps over here I'll just go to a watch face which I use and uh, I would like to show it to you guys because uh, it's a pretty good watch face um, it also has calendar and the reason why I like this watch face is as you can see you have four different uh, stuff which you can view on your watch like for now I have the steps the calories the battery life and the continuous heart rate monitor it also shows you the time the seconds a.m. p.m. I'm not a 24 24 hour clock guy I, I like it a.m. and p.m. so it shows that as well it shows Monday to Sunday and shows the date you're on um, and the good part is if you hit uh, the date like uh, on this screenshot you can see March 9th if you hit that the calendar will load and that's pretty neat so you don't need a calendar app with this watch face uh, and you can customize all the colors um, like customize the background with different colors as you can see here so that's pretty much 